OK, so when we call this now, what it's going to do is fill up those variable names with information about the uh, open, low, high and close and volume of the this virtual big bar that we're creating from our um, five minutes bars. In this case, it's going to be a 60 minute big bar that we're creating from the five minute bars. So um, you might say, well, what are we going to do with that information? Well, just for the sake of uh, demonstration, we're going to use my drawbox function. And uh, I've actually modified the drawbox function from before, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I've created drawbox three. The only difference between drawbox two that uh, I created previously was that we can now add a thickness to the lines. I'm going to call the uh, the color blue thickness two, and then uh, I'm going to put in all the information here. Now I'm going to explain this in a minute but I'm just creating two variables time old and date old and uh, you'll see why we need those in a second but uh, the rest of the information is hopefully fairly self-explanatory high out and low out the information that we're getting from the ADE function. So um, that is going to draw the box. Oh, and actually that should be draw box three because draw box three is a new function I created that allows you to change the thickness of a line. Okay, so um, we now need to think about what time old and date old are. So what I'm doing here, essentially because this is only run every time a new higher time frame bar is formed, um, the uh, the values of time old and date old stay the same until we correct them. So what we have here, effectively going into the draw, bro draw box, are the uh, the time when the box starts. In other words, the last time that uh, that we we uh, formed a larger time frame bar, together with the uh, the time and date that it is now. So um, in order to do that, what we do, we just set these to time old and date old. So in the draw box, we use the previous version. Then as soon as we've done that, we refresh the information of time old and date old with the current time and date. And uh, let's just say end and press F3. And uh, let's just see what that gets us. Whoops, we've got an error. and it tells us the word not recognized and that is because I have forgotten to create time old and date old as variables so let's just go ahead and do that just uh, again put a comma there and just going to create those as variables now when you're writing programs yourself I'm not doing it here but it is important to add comments as to explain what you're doing and what things are uh, just for the sake of this demonstration, I don't have time to do that. So let's go back to the chart and uh, you'll now see we're drawing some boxes and uh, you will notice that those boxes go exactly round the last uh, 12 bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, if you could see the uh, magenta and the cyan bars, you'll see they also correspond exactly to the uh, cyan and magenta bars. Now that's all well and good and it proves the uh, that this thing is working correctly but we might want to do something a little more useful and uh, one of the things that you can do with ADE and let's just go back to the program is use um, what are known as series functions. So for example a series function might uh, calculate the average of the 60 minute bars. Now you, you might think, well, why don't we just use the moving average and just uh, pop in the, the data from uh, close out or something like that. Well, the problem there is that close out data stays the same for however many bars on the lower time frame make up the bigger time frame. So it wouldn't actually give you an average of the higher time frame. So to get an average of the uh, the higher time frame, what we actually use are series functions. Now, you uh, if you go to the uh, trade station um, support site you will you will find and do a search for ADE series functions you should find that uh, lots of uh, very clever people have written various series functions for example stochastic averages highs lows etc that you can uh, download and then you can apply them in this sort, sort of situation the one that we're going to use is a series function and notice it's AD it begins with ADF um, is ADF average 
and uh, that's a, a function that is already part of the um, ADE setup so we don't need to or you shouldn't need to download it so again the data we're using is OHLCV that's the uh, the name of the class that is created automatically by ADE dot derive big bar and let's put in the rest of the information get symbol name which tells us what the chart is that we're on uh, the interval which in our case is 60 uh, the bar identifier ADE dot bar ID and uh, we're going to do an average of close so what we do is we put in I'm going to do the average excuse me over a 20 bar 60 minutes 20 bars and uh, I'm going to press uh, the colon there now we also need to set up a variable average which we'll do there just in the var and uh, finally of course we want to see what this thing looks like so we're just going to plot this thing I'm just going to say if average is greater than zero then plot one average as easy as that so let's just uh, press F3 and oops we've got another error Okay, just correct spelling there, close and uh, again press F3 and uh, let's just go back to the chart and uh, because we had an error there we're going to need to reapply this tutorial to the chart, it's going to change the status to on and uh, there we go so we can now see, I'm just going to move the um, uh, the uh, average onto the same chart as the price and uh, in order to uh, to test this so for example the the last uh, 60 minute bar that was formed there uh, if you look at the plot you'll see that the uh, average was coming out at 1.65256 and uh, if we were to go to a 60 minute chart and see what the uh, the same average there so that's the uh, the last bar that's actually formed. 1.65. Oops. 1.65. Probably can't see that just there, but it's 1.65256, which I believe is the same. Let's just go back and uh, check. 1. Point, uh, let me just bring this up into the uh, view so you can see it. 1.65256. Yeah. So it is the same. So you can see there that we're accurately calculating the average using this ADF series function on a five minute chart but creating these virtual 60 minute big big bars. Anyway, uh, I hope you find that useful. Um, if you are not a member of the uh, Markplex email list then please go to um, Markplex, M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X dot com and join the email list and then I'll be happy to uh, let you know when I've created new tutorials or programs. Thank you very much. Again, I almost forgot here, but um, here is the uh, Drawbox 3 function. Uh, you can see the inputs, including the color, the thickness, time start, date start, time end, date end, price high and low. And then we simply feed those into various TL new functions, uh, which include set color, set size, set color, set size. And then because for a function we have to return a value, we're just returning a zero value there. So uh, there it is. Thank you.